everyone. Welcome to my channel on this really cold autumn windy day in Canada when the fall weather comes. In order to get the leaves off the tree, well, you probably can't see the tree there, leaves off the trees, the wind really howls and we have a lot of windy days. So it's really hard to fly drones. Today I have a drone for you. It's called the OOV6. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous for a drone name, but it's really called the OOV6. And this is it right here. It's a foldable drone, brushless motors. Now, just on that title, OOV6, can you imagine how they came up with the name? I just, in my mind, I'm picturing there's a bunch of executives sitting around an office and someone says, here's our new product. We have to come up with a name. Let's see, this is version six of the product. Does anybody have a suggestion? And some little kid in the back's like, oh, oh, V6, call it the V6. And someone who was taking the minutes of the meeting wrote down OOV6, and that's what stuck on the box here that says OOV6. Anyways, enough about that. Let me tell you about the drone. It has a 2.7K camera. It's a little bit different. This camera shoots straight up and straight down. So if you were filming underneath things like bridges or I don't know, whatever trees, I'll try to fly it under trees here today, uh, you can look straight up in the air. And if you fly it low to the ground, look, you can look straight up at yourself as well as forward and all the way down. It is a foldable drone, as I mentioned. It flies for about 23 minutes. Uh, mine came with two batteries. I think they all come with two batteries. It does have a range of about 500 meters, um, but that seems like that's the max range. So you might not get 500 meters, but I'll fly it around here. We'll just see how good it is in my little flight here. There is a location in the drone to put a micro SD card, which is pretty good. So you can record the 2.7K video and the 4K photos. It has the landing light on the bottom, plus an optical flow sensor. And when it's all unfolded, it looks like this, just like a little UFO spaceship thing. Now, for a lot of you watching, if you're brand new to watching drones and you're looking for a drone for Christmas, let me tell you this. When you buy a drone, if you want to buy a drone for video, you need a three axis gimbal on the front. You know, at minimum, a two axis gimbal. This here drone has no gimbal. And the alternative to a gimbal is EIS, electronic image stabilization. This drone has none of that. So this drone is designed as a fun drone. It's designed to have fun, fly around for a beginner, crash it, bash it, because it's all well protected. You're not gonna really break anything unless you drive it into the pavement. But unlike drones with gimbals where you can break the gimbal, this one here, you can't break anything. So it's a fun drone and it's made to fly on non-windy days. Read my lips, non-windy days. This is not one of those days. It's a windy day and I'm gonna fly it today because we're in the fall weather and that's all I have is wind. So what that means is that if this drone is sitting here filming me and the wind knocks it this way or this way or this way or this way, that's how your image goes. Your picture is gonna fly all over the place. Matter of fact, if I move this drone forward too fast, it has to bend like this or tilt like this to go forward and your picture is just gonna go zunk and that's what you're gonna get. So if you have a drone like this and you're a beginner, the video probably is not gonna to be too pleasing to you, but if you know how to fly a drone, you can make it pleasing just by flying in days where it's not too windy and learning how to use the joysticks and fly smooth and make all smooth motions and you'll have pretty good video. All right, let's go fly this. All right, now one thing I wanna show you that's really cool about this here drone is that, you know the DJI Mavic Air 2? It has a controller that looks pretty much like this, or this looks like the controller of the DJI Mavic Air 2, except this has a display on it. So let me grab my GoPro here and show you what it looks like. You see it right here? Look at that. If the Mavic Air 2 ever had a display in the controller, it would look like this. All right, the wind's picking up. We gotta get flying this thing. All right, so let's power it on right here. There's a little button in the back, get some sound. Next thing we do is we turn on our controller here. You can see the display and you'll know that this here controller is connected to this here drone if I can see the battery voltage for the controller and the drone, which I can. All right, since this is an MJXRC drone, all you do is after you power everything on and it's sitting there, now you do your compass calibration, you just pick it up and you spin it three times horizontal and three times vertically. So once, twice, I'm doing it really fast because it's cold out here, three times, and then point it up and spin it once, twice, three times, and you know you're done when the lights are solid. Do I have any lights on here to show me a solid? Well, the only light I see is at the back. There's a green light, so that tells me I must have done it right. All right, next thing you wanna do is connect your phone to the Wi-Fi of the drone. So I see mine right here, drone 4D24. I'm gonna to connect to it, so I'll select it. And there we go, we should be connected. Ah, the sun is going out, it's getting dark, cold, and uh, it's gonna rain any minute. All right, so this is not going well. 
The app you want to use is the X-Drone app. I've even got rain on my little phone display here. So there we go, X-Drone. Going to go, next, next. And there I can see what I see. All right, since the sun is going out, and I don't know if you can see over there, look at that. Look at the seagulls. They're just, they're, they're, they're surrounding me as if they're gonna come and attack. Every time I'm out, it's nothing but seagulls. All right, so let's start this little baby up and uh, let's check it out what it could do. Okay, so first thing you do is you wanna unlock the motor. So I'm just gonna stand over here. I'm gonna unlock the motors with this button. Start the motors. There we go. Let's take it on up. There we go. There it is in the wind. There's the drone and there's the seagulls. So it is really dark out now. The sun has gone out. Underneath I do have, you can see the wind just tossing around here. I do have landing lights on the bottom. I can turn it on. There we go, landing light, turn it off. All right, you see what I mean? You see how windy it is here? And how the image is bouncing around? Here I am right here. So I'm just gonna fly it. Let's see. Let's see if I can fly it this way. There she goes. It flies okay in the wind. The problem is, is that it's just, it's just bouncing around. So every now and then you have me in the image. All right, let us try a little simple things like follow me here. And there we go. So let's see how it goes. I'll walk this way. I don't know if I have the record on. Hang on a sec, if I don't, start record. Sometimes I have it on, sometimes I don't. I don't know if it's recording. So there we go. You can see it on my screen. The drone is following me as I'm walking. I have my arms out here. One problem I've noticed with this drone already is if I turn the video on, I can't tell if it's on or off. It just, it just doesn't seem to stay on and it goes off all the time. So I don't know. So that's why you see it on my phone display right now and not so much on the video of the actual drone. So I'm going to try it again. We have these beautiful fall colors. I'm going to try the video again. I don't know if it's going to work. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm turning on the video. It says start record and I'm going to walk. Let's see if the video is on. Now, the video went off again. Here, I'll show you. The drone is on the ground. I have the props going. But you see the camera in the front? Oh, they're gonna stop now. But you see the camera in the front right here? I can look up. It's looking up, how, there's my hand up top. And I can look at, make it look forward. There we go. And it can look all the way down at the grass. So that's basically the selling feature of this drone. All right, I have my drone over there. I'm keeping it low to the ground because there's less wind along the ground. And we're coming over to these little nets over here, <laughs> soccer nets. And I'll try not to get tangled up in them. I'm gonna go not at the soccer nets, but over here through the trees. So now I'm gonna take the camera. You see it on the front? There, I'm gonna turn it up. It's moving upwards. Hope you can see that. And I'll, uh, well, I'll just put it a little bit up. Well, all the way up, what the heck. We're just looking at the sky, but I'm gonna go under these trees here. So let's go forward. See, they're gonna hit the trees or go under them. <laughs> there we go. So you should be seeing the trees as I go by here. The nice fall colors. Wait for me, drone, you're going too fast. <laughs> I've cut it on the fast speed. There we go. So we go under all these cool trees. I'm still in the wind though, but it's doing okay. So, that is the cool thing of having a camera that looks upward. And let's bring it back this way. Going through the maze of trees, fall colors. There we are. Probably gives us a pretty cool image. I'll move the camera forward a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now you can see my head probably in the image a bit more in these trees. All right, let's bring you out. Now I can't see on my screen. It should be recording, but it might not be. Unfortunately, I can't tell right now if it's even recording. Let's bring you out of here. There we go. Wait for me, drone. <laughs> Wait for me. All right, let's go this way. Make the camera look down a bit. There we go. Coming up to this ridge. This video I'm making of this drone is really short. The reason it's short is because you can't buy this drone in North America yet. It's not available in North America. I think this is just a prototype 
type drone. It's, a, it's available on a few stores, but you really can't get it. So this is just a fun video showing you what this drone is. Now, one thing about this drone, it's really easy to land. I don't even know, I could put my hand out or like a fist. <laughs> you could actually just land it nice and soft on your hand. There we go. All right, <laughs> it's getting cold out here. I got to finish this here review. This here was a really quick review because this is not available in North America yet. So it's not really ready for prime time because I flew it. It is windy, it is cold, yes, granted for that, but I had problems with the video. I could never tell if I was recording anything on my display here. It would go into record mode, then it would stop. Then sometimes the screen, what I'd see on my phone here, would just freeze up. So it was like, am I recording? Am I flying? What's working? What's not working? So yeah, not really ready for prime time yet, but it does have potential. When this comes to North America, I'm sure they'll fix all those glitches and bugs. For now, this was just a fun video just to show you this here drone. Now, it is available in some parts of the world. So if you're watching this in a part of the world where this drone is available, well, I'm going to put links below to that part of the world where this drone is available. It's available on two stores in some foreign country, and you could check it out there and see what the price is and see what the features are there. But for now, for everybody else in North America and Europe, I hope you enjoyed this fun video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you again in future videos with many more drone reviews. All right, until then, take care. And now a super quick unboxing of the OO V6 drone. Slide this out. Take off the next top cover, which appears to have stuff in it. Let's see what's inside. Inside this one, we have the props, spare hardware that you need to put the props on, the V6 user manual. Then we have the controller, the drone, and some accessories. Let's check it out. Here we have the drone, and it looks pretty cool. It's kind of sleek in styling, and uh, it's got a bit of weight to it. We do have the brushless motors, foldable props, and foldable arms. So let me just pull these out. It looks like uh, it goes like this. Oh, and I turned it on. <laughs> Gotta watch what you do with your hands here. So I'll unfold it. It's rather big. It's almost like a, remember the Bugs 4W? It's very similar to that. Yeah, I know it's flashing because I accidentally turned it on. So in the front, we have the camera. And let me show you some of the other features. On this side, I see nothing, nothing, nothing going to the battery in the back. Doesn't look like there's a battery indicator to tell you how much voltage is in it. This side, we have our micro SD card slot down here. I can see some blue lights flashing inside. So that means the flight controller is all ready to go. On the bottom, we have our LED landing light, and we also have an optical flow sensor. That is pretty much it, other than some vents. And then in the front, we have our camera that can look all the way up and all the way down, and then of course forward. And for LED lights, you can see on the arms, you have the forward arms have LED lights, nothing on the rear arms, nothing in the back, except for on the top, you have an LED light here. And let's take a look at the battery, pull this out. There we go. So the battery is a 7.6 volt, 3400 milliamp hour battery. Batteries in back here. I am curious to see how much it weighs because it does have a bit of weight. It is quite large. Let's see, put it down. Can you see what it says? 545 grams down there. Next, we have the remote control. Let's power this on and see what the display looks like. There we go. So you have your joysticks here, normal stuff. You have your bind button and your start the motors button right there, take off and land. GPS on off, return to home, power button. And of course on the front you have, turn on or off the landing lights. Here's your speed control. And over here would be your camera photo and video button. And of course you have jaw controls. And then on the bottom you have a spot for batteries and it will take three AAA batteries, not included. Ten is in the front and right here. That's where you're gonna put your cell phone. Just pull that out. Nice and long, so you can put a cell phone in there. You also get this two battery charging receptacle, so you can put a battery in here and a battery in there, and then your USB cable in here. This USB cable is included. Plug it in, charge up your battery. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review of this wonderful drone. If you have questions on this drone, post them below, and I will get back to you and answer them to the best of my abilities. If you'd like to buy this drone, if I found the location where this is for sale, I have posted the locations below, so check it out if you see any locations down there, because I have been told this is coming to market. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you in a future video with many more drone reviews. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.